The political maneuvering in Canada's largest city is being compared to a comedy sketch. Rob Ford, the current scandal-prone mayor, bowed out of the race to make way for his brother Doug. It all happened at the last minute, but tonight there are questions about the timing of this latest spectacle put on by Ford Nation. Global's Anthony Robart is looking at the timeline of the latest drama. Anthony. Robin, as if this mayoral campaign wasn't interesting before, this political version of musical chairs that is unfolding in Toronto has added a level of drama never seen before in this city. Rob Ford remains in hospital awaiting his diagnosis. Doug Ford has taken the torch from his brother to run for mayor. The other candidates and much of this city just trying to make sense of it all. On his first full day as a mayoral candidate, Doug Ford is coming to his brother's aid in more ways than one. Here to visit Rob Ford's bedside in hospital, but also to carry the Ford flag in the race for mayor. Yeah, he's, he's doing all right. It's just in a, in a real tough battle right now. Rewind 24 hours and the stunning announcement that put these dramatic developments in motion. Unfortunately, Rob's health is not allowing him to run for mayor. The other candidates doing their best to continue as if it was business as usual, when in reality, it's anything but. Interesting would not be a word to describe this adequately, but it's extraordinary. But you know, you take it as it comes, and uh, I'm just carrying forward. Welcome Doug Ford in the race, and we can finally debate policy and not about personality. But a question that keeps coming up, was this dramatic redesign of Toronto's mayoral campaign in the works before Friday's bombshell? A tweet posted by Nick Cavallis, the architect of Rob Ford's 2010 campaign and now advisor to John Tory, was mostly ignored when he wrote it in May. Not so anymore. He says, Rob Ford will run and win in Ward 2. Doug Ford will run and lose the mayor's race. You heard it here first. And we've learned the domain name DougFordForMayor.com was obtained in May. We're not sure by whom. Doug Ford denies he had been planning to run for mayor in his brother's place. It was never in the works. I worked 18 hours a day around the clock to make sure Rob continued with the great success and the prosperity that this city has seen over the last four years. At this stage of the campaign, however, much of Toronto's electorate not surprised by anything anymore. Every day you wake up and it's, it's you know, the story's taking a different twist. Well, there's a fair degree of, of hubris at work here, right? The, the sense that nobody other than us can lead the city. Either way, this public relations expert says Doug Ford's campaign is still a long shot. Whether you call it a circus or a roller coaster, uh, I think the shelf life of the circus, uh, you know, or the, or the ride on the roller coaster is quickly coming to an end. So Toronto just holding on tight, if you will, until Election Day, October the 27th. And as for that domain name, Doug Ford for Mayor, it says it is under development. We asked Doug Ford today whether his team was working on it. He says the name was already taken. As well, there's a mayoral debate in this city tomorrow. Doug Ford says he will not be there. He wants his first official day of campaigning to begin on Monday. He wants to be there for his brother instead. Robin? Anthony Robart in Toronto. Thanks, Anthony.